you're seeing pretty much classical action here. I wrote in my pre-opening comments that after a bad day like yesterday, the market traditionally opens down, they circle the wagons, you rally back into plus territory, and then you see if the rebound begins to fade. Now, that's exactly what's happened here. We bounced off the 200-day um, moving average in the S&P, which is 27.65. I think we got down to 27.68. The critical thing for the viewers will be how we close. Um, so far, we're okay. They can bring them back here. Um, you'll wait and see what kind of news develops. Um, but if they close negative, particularly if they close appreciably negative, down 70 or more in the Dow, uh, that's going to make for a bumpy rest of the week. Well, it'll, so we got Friday, the next five days or so. Some people have noted there was no, no real flight to safety yesterday. Didn't see gold move much. The 10-year the, uh, the price didn't really increase uh, in any significant way. Is there anything to make of that? Dollar went down. Uh, yeah, I think there is, and, and it, it occurred in the final 15 or 20 minutes. You're absolutely right. For, for much of the 800-point sell-off, there was no flight to safety. A little bit of it picked up in those final 15 minutes. You saw a small smattering of it this morning when the yields went down a little bit. Um, so I think, I think they're cautious. I think you've got a variety of things working almost at cross purposes here. Uh, you know, the tariffs and the higher cost of, of uh, materials and whatnot. Um, so it's not just 100 percent about uh, interest rates and yields, but uh, that is a very, very strong factor. And you'll remember uh, back when we went into the taper tantrum, you know, the Fed began to taper off, the market took it badly, and they started to rethink. So it's going to be interesting what we hear from uh, the various Fed heads over the next several days. Well, that brings up a point some have made that a lot of this is about the trajectory of rates, but a lot of it's about QT, right? It We're is. in that period of tightening where it's, it's accelerating, and we thought it was going to be boring, but maybe it won't be. Yeah, well, that, that, that's the key point. It, you know, it, it, you hear over and over again from me and from anybody you bring up here um, that it's not so much the level of the rates, it's the rate of acceleration that got them there, that they seem to move a little too quickly for most people. Um, so I think I think we'll wait and see. There's a lot of commentary about shouldn't they spend more time working on the balance sheet rather than moving the rates up. So there's, a, there's plenty of debate out there. I think it's going to be very important to see if the various Fed people, not just Powell, uh, begin to address this in, in their speeches. So often the White House sends out an official like a Larry Kudlow to, to speak calmly, and he said, be calm, this is just a, a correction, we're still killing it on the U.S. economy. Did it offer any reassurance? Well, uh, you know, uh, Larry's an old friend, but, you know, the, it, that's not vastly different than what Mnuchin said yesterday, and to some degree the president himself for a while saying that, you know, this uh, we, we've had a heck of a run. This is just a bit of a correction here. Uh, but I think when it dawned on him by the time he got out to his rally in Pennsylvania, um, he felt he had to say a little bit more about it. So, um, yeah, no, I, I think the economy's holding up, and particularly um, as we discussed yesterday, the, the um, uh, smaller domestic economy, the NFIB report came out. It was down slightly, but the uh, president's note with the, the president of the NFIB was borderline giddy. I mean, she said that uh, this is possibly the best economy that small business has seen in many, many years. So uh, the economy's moving along. The trouble is, it's something going to set it off balance, and that's, that's what the market's worried about now.